Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite pregnancy products so far and some of the things that I've been using throughout this third pregnancy. Some of them are things that I've used for years and in all of my pregnancies, but a lot of the things are new things and I this time I tended to go for more of the natural ingredients and sustainable products. This is just something that I've preferred this time around and the fact that I suffer with hyperpigmentation throughout my pregnancy has made me be more careful about what I put on my skin or on my body um, to avoid or minimize the appearance of these dark spots on my skin and throughout my body which I have quite a lot this time around so you'll see that I've chosen um, products that have more natural ingredients and I hope you guys enjoy this video and discovering new products if you're pregnant this might be good for you to just write down some of the things that you like and check it out and have a look at the products um, and they might be good for you as well. I do apologize, I'm really out of breath. I am almost 28 we weeks pregnant now. Whilst I'm filming this video, you might be seeing this a couple of weeks later, so I'll be even further down the line. But as the third trimester is looming closer, I'm feeling incredibly out of breath just talking. This video is much more focused on skincare and body care, but I do have a few odd bits here and there, including this thing that I've got on my lap at the moment. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, my name is Aziz. I'm pregnant with baby number three. I have a six-year-old and a four-year-old, and a baby will be born end of August, beginning of September. Um, so if you're pregnant as well, let me know in the comments below how far along are you, if this is your first baby or not, and what are you most looking forward to. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I'd love for you to subscribe. It's free and you get notifications when there's a new video from me. And now let's get straight into the video. So the first product is from a brand that I am so glad I discovered and I'm actually working with them on this video. Um, this part of the video is sponsored by Wild Cosmetics and it is the Wild Natural Deodorant. And this just fell out of the sky for me. Like I said, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and under my arms, I get quite a lot of it. And I was looking for something that wasn't as harsh chemically. For years, I've been using just your normal sort of like spray deodorants and I've never been massively happy with them, but never made an effort to really change it. When I got pregnant, I was on the hunt for something more natural and I started seeing some of the wild deodorant adverts popping up on my Instagram and was really intrigued by them. And just out of luck, Wild contacted me asking if I wanted to work with them to share their new sensitive range of deodorants and I thought, this is the perfect opportunity for me to try it out and also to share it with you guys. So I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I'm completely converted. Not only it is environmentally friendly because you have the refills that you can buy so you don't need to keep buying the case over and over again, you just buy it once and then you keep refilling it. So it's very environmentally friendly, but it's also natural. It is free of chemicals. It's very gentle and the sensitive range is even better if you've got sensitive skin or if you've got any kind of skin conditions that tend to get irritated by deodorant ingredients. So it actually comes in a little box like this. Let me just grab it. This little orange box. And inside the orange box, you get your deodorant um, cartridge that comes in here and inside there you've got your refills so it comes with three I am using one which is inside the case to insert the refill into the case first of all make sure that you've twisted the bottom as far out as it will go then press the two buttons on the side slide the bottom out grab your refill take the lid off and simply insert it into the little space that you can see there, ready for the refill. Put the case top back on, wait for it to click, and it's ready to go. Take the lid off and you can see your deodorant there. And to use it, you just twist the bottom and it comes up so you can use it like that. Very simple and easy to use. And like I said, you can keep just buying the refills and keep your case. This can also be engraved. As you can see, mine has got my name on it. So if you wanna give it as a gift to someone, it's a nice little touch. 
And what I've found is that it's not only the fact that it's environmentally friendly and that it's great for sensitive skin, it's how it makes me feel. I wouldn't have bought into a natural deodorant if it didn't make me feel fresh all day long. Um, I have to feel like I'm not constantly sweating and when you're pregnant your body gets hotter and you tend to sweat a lot more. And over the last two weeks with heat waves and you know like 24 20 to 28 degrees here in the UK I have not felt sweaty and uncomfortable and I've used this every single day. So that's a massive bonus for me. The texture is really sort of like smooth and soft. It goes on the skin quite easily. The formula is made with magnesium instead of baking soda, which is an ingredient that can cause irritation to sensitive skin. For the sensitive range, you have three new scents to choose from, as well as the Core Collection, which has a few more scents. Um, it's cruelty-free, vegan and the refills are 100% biodegradable, it doesn't contain any plastic. So it is a really great product and it's something that I think you should definitely give it a chance if you haven't tried Wild natural deodorants before. Wild offers a flexi subscription so if you're not quite sure if you want to be tied up to a subscription like a monthly subscription you can buy the refills as a one-off and it just gives you the chance to try something out see if you like it so if you are interested in trying the wild deodorants i have the best discount code for you this is the most discount that wild offers it's a 20 percent discount code and it's just the name aziz i'm going to write it here and um, the promo code that you can use so definitely check out the link in the description box below and make the most of the promo code whilst it lasts. Whilst on the topic of hyperpigmentation, I have swapped my sun cream for something that caters for that particular problem that I'm struggling with this pregnancy. And this is not as natural as I would like it to be, but it's something that works for me because I've used it before in a previous in previous pregnancies and it worked. So I have been using the Eucerin Sun Protection um, Factor 50 Pigment Control. This is a face moisturizer. I'm sure you can use it for your whole body, but it's so small that I wouldn't recommend it uh, for the price that you pay. It is quite expensive. Now look at my picture. I made, I worked so hard to make Let it. me see. <gasps> oh, wow. This is me, this baby sister. This is a big sister of mine. Another big sister? Yeah. Okay. This is daddy, this is mommy, and this is James. Wow. And this is this is, this is the sky and these are glass. And heart. Yeah. And you even did hands and fingers. Yeah, and I did a cloud. And the cloud. I love it, Bella. We need Split to frame that. Time. We need to sign it with your name and, and we need to frame it. Thank you. Well done on that great picture. Are you doing a picture? I'm doing a video, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Can I help you after I do this? Um, not with this one, but with something else, yes. Okay. Bye. I wanted something that was going to be as high protection as possible, but was also going to cater for my hyperpigmentation. I haven't noticed any difference in um, reduction of pigmentation but I have found that it stopped me from getting more pigmentation on my face, which I was getting a lot of um, when like the weather started getting warmer in the UK. Even using an SPF 50, just a normal moisturizer with SPF in it, um, I found that I was getting a lot of pigmentation. And since using this, I haven't had any new pigmentation spots on my face, um, but it hasn't reduced the appearance of the ones that I have. And just for example, I don't know if you'll be able to see because of the, the ring light, but I have a spot here that I've had on my chin and usually that wouldn't leave a dark mark, but throughout pregnancy, these things tend to leave a very dark scar on my face. And as you can see there, it hasn't helped fade that, uh, but it's also, like I said, not made appear any new spots on my face. So yeah, and for my body, um, I'm using the Vici, SPF 50 um, solar protective water with hyaluronic acid. Um, I actually bought into the hype of this from someone on stories and I saw them using it and I bought it and it's great because it's just a, like a quick spray oil. It's also SPF 50 so it protects my body. Um, so these are the two sort of sun creams that I've been using on my body throughout pregnancy. And like I said, I wish they were more natural and less full of ingredients 
but they seem to work well for me. If you have a, an SPF that you really love, that's much more natural than these, and um, you can recommend it to me, please leave it in the comments below. Next up, I have some goodies from my expert midwife. I'm sure if you're pregnant, you've heard of my expert midwife. It's a brand that's been really hyped up uh, because of the very famous spritz for bits, <laughs> which I have here. Um, although this is not for pregnancy, this, this is for after you give birth. It's supposed to be really cooling and refreshing in your nether regions. Um, I've never used it before, but I have it here now and it will definitely go in my hospital bag. But the one that I've been using throughout pregnancy, which has been amazing, has been the Fantastic Skin Elastic. This is supposed to be a moisturizing cream slash oil that you apply on your bump and all over your body to help reduce the appearance of stretch marks. Now I know that stretch marks are hereditary. If you are prone to have them, you're gonna have them, whatever happens. I don't tend to get any on my bump. Throughout all my pregnancies, I've never had stretch marks on my bump, but I do get some on the sides of my legs and on my boobs. Um, so I've been applying this and it's just so nice. It feels like I'm in a spa. The smell is lovely. The texture and feel of it is quite rich, which I like because I feel like for a stretch mark cream, you need something that's going to be quite nourishing and, you know, just makes you feel like you're adding elasticity to your skin, which this does make you feel like that. And you don't need much at all. The first time I used it, I put like four or five pumps of it and I was just like forever trying to rub it all into my skin. So one or two pumps, I can do my entire like bump, boobs and side of the legs and it's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend this. Hasn't irritated my skin or anything. Sticking with the theme of body skincare, I've been using this 100% virgin coconut oil body wash by Shea Moisture. Anything with coconut oil in it, I'm already drawn to because I love the smell of coconut products in like body products, like moisturizers, body wash. And this is made with fair trade ingredients, lots of natural ingredients like Shea butter, coconut oil, coconut, coconut milk, um, stuff that I can't pronounce, but it's all natural. And the smell of it, Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's, and it's quite a big bottle as well, so it will last you a while. Unless you have cheeky little kids like mine who like to pour as much as possible onto their tiny little bodies and you have to just stop them and go, no, this is my special one. <laughs> it has a list here on the side of all the things that it does not include. So anything that you would expect, like no sulfates, no parabens, no paraffin, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, and more and more things. So I'll leave a link to this below. I don't think it's a company that's very, very well known, but I highly recommend it. Moving on to some face skincare, I have a selection of things that I have been enjoying using, not all in one go, and sometimes I use a few, but not the others, but I just thought I would mention all of them in case you're looking for one or the other, um, uh, but in case you're thinking that I'm like super indulgent and I do a, this massive skincare routine all the time, I don't. Sometimes it's only one of them, other times it's two or three, and yeah. In any case, I'm gonna start with the simplest one and that is just an SPF for your lips. So this is the NARS SPF 10 Lip Balm. It's just a clear lip balm and I've had this in my makeup bag, which is the reason why I have been using it. If you know of any other lip balms that are natural, let me know, but this is the one that I've been using to protect my lips. Now, in terms of order of skincare, if I'm doing the whole face skincare routine, I tend to start with a serum. You're supposed to start with like the, um, the most thinnest consistency and then work your way to the thickest consistency and serums always come quite early on in your skincare routine and the one that I've been enjoying is the um, Eat Cooking, I think that's how you say it, moisturizing serum with hyaluronic acid. So it's one of those like brands that are very understated, the packaging is just like very clinical. I have quite a few products from eCooking that I've been loving. Um, but yeah, they sent this to me and I have really enjoyed using it. As you can see, I've used quite a lot for a serum because you don't tend to need much and I have used quite a lot of it. It's just a really nice natural serum to apply to your skin. So then after serum, I apply my eye cream. 
which is from Neil's Yard. And this is the Wild Rose Eye Brightener. I have really enjoyed this and it has a very delicate, gentle rose scent. If you're sensitive to it, I would steer clear for it, from it. If you don't like rose smelling products, I would also steer clear from it. But if you do, it can be quite nice and just like relaxing to put it on. So after the eye cream, I move on to moisturizer. This is also from eCooking. Um, it contains peptides, organic and natural ingredients. It's just one of those that are really nice to apply. Doesn't smell like particularly great. That doesn't bother me too much. What I like is the texture because it is quite thick and it feels like it's leaving your skin like ready to soak in all the nutrients that it needs for the night. Um, it's not something that I like on a day cream. I much prefer day creams that are lighter weight, that don't feel like my skin is just so full up with stuff. But night creams, I absolutely love that feeling. And I really like the e-cooking one. And then after my night cream, I go for my face oil. <laughs> this is something that when I started using more different types of skin products that I wasn't quite sure what order the oil should go. But throughout research, I found out the oils should be going sort of last, even though they are quite liquidy. And I thought, oh, maybe oils go before serum. No, they should go after your moisturizer because they can easily penetrate through serums and moisturizers and lotions and like thick creams on your face. So I just pat them onto my skin and press it, which helps sort of the skin absorb the moisturizers and the serums that I applied before. This again is from Neil's Yard. This is the Glow Facial Oil. It's from the same range as the eye cream. So it's got the same scent, same things that I mentioned before, um, but this is, you know, like very liquidy because it's an oil rather than a cream. And it's really nice, leaves my skin quite nourished. And in case you're curious, after the oil, that's when you're supposed to apply your SPF, which sounds weird. I mean, I, Personally, don't know anyone who has time to do all of that and then put their SPF on in the morning. To be completely honest with you, I do my SPF as SPF and moisturizer in the morning. If anything, I'll do serum and SPF, but I don't really have the time to do moisturizer, serum, SPF, oil, and uh, everything else. Like I just go for two of them and like a SPF lip balm and that's me done. But in the evening, if I want a little bit of a pamper, I get those little products out. So that's all for skincare and body care. Now I'm gonna move on to a couple of random things that I've been enjoying. First thing is the Rennie tablets in the peppermint flavor. If you're pregnant and even if you're not pregnant and you struggle with heartburn, you probably have heard of Rennie. Um, there's also Gaviscon, which is something that I used in my previous pregnancies and it worked for me, but this time around Gaviscon did nothing, absolutely nothing. And the Rennie tablets have saved my bacon. When I feel that horrible heartburny feeling, I just take one of the tablets and it goes away pretty much straight away. I think I probably take about six of these a day, not all in one go, but spaced out throughout the day. You're not supposed to go over 10 tablets a day, um, but yeah, it's really, really helped me. So I thought I would mention it. Um, although it, I know it's something that's quite boring that a lot of people know about. It's not a glamorous product, but it has been really helpful. And the next thing I have, I don't know which one to show first. I'll show the pregnancy pillow that's been sitting on my lap the, the whole time. So I've had this for six years. It's seen me through three pregnancies and it's seen better days. It's looking a little bit mangled, a bit worse for wear. But yeah, this is my pregnancy pillow. I use this every single night. If we travel, I take it with me. If I sit downstairs on the sofa, it comes with me downstairs. And I am suffering quite badly with um, pelvic girdle pain, PGP or SBD, as it used to be called. Really struggling with it at the moment, to the point where some days I just don't know how I'm gonna get up if I'm sitting down, because it really hurts down there. And this sort of helps relieve a little bit of the pressure when I'm lying down in bed at night, although it doesn't help at all with like moving. Um, it's also comfortable for my bump and yeah, it's just one of those things that if you're pregnant, get one of these as soon as possible. I'll leave a link to where I got this. Like I said, it was six years ago, so I don't even know if they stock this particular one anymore, but I'm sure I have a link of it somewhere in my blog. 
I'll be able to find the name of it and look it up for you. And the last thing that I have to show you is this pregnancy support belt. Um, I got this from Amazon and it was recommended to me by quite a few people on Instagram when I mentioned that I was having quite a lot of lower back pain and feeling, you know, the pelvic pain. And so I got this. I'm gonna insert here a little clip of me putting it on um, because I put it on my stories, just a demonstration of how you're supposed to put it on because I really struggled to get all the parts together. It comes in several parts and they're all disconnected. So you just like attach the bits and it, they all seem to fit in together. But yeah, I my honest opinion of this is that it's helped me when I'm standing up. If I know I'm not gonna be sitting down for a while, like if I'm cooking or if I'm doing something on my feet for a long time, I put this on and it helps support the weight of my bump and reduce the pressure on my back and my pelvis. So that's why I'm including it in this video is because if you spend a lot of time on your feet, this is something that could be really helpful to you. This particular one is supposed to also be good for postpartum. As it says here in the box, you can use it as like a, tummy shrinker thing although a couple of people mentioned on Instagram that it's not as comfortable um, the postpartum mode of it but and there's a big but here I don't find this comfortable to wear when I'm sitting down and I spend most of my day between sitting up and sitting down and standing up or you know sitting down quite a lot at the computer working and then standing up to do stuff with the kids or around the house I don't ever spend like a really long time standing up so I don't I haven't got as much use out of it as I wish I would have I don't really know what I was expecting I, I don't know I wasn't expecting it to be comfortable sitting down because you have a massive band around your bottom half of your body but for, for standing up it has helped if you have 20 extra pounds and you spend a lot of time on your feet then I would recommend buying this if you spend a lot of time sitting down, then maybe it might be a little bit of a waste of money. But that's the only reason why I'm showing it in this video is that I know a lot of people that work in retail or because of their jobs or because of whatever their circumstances, they spend a lot of time on their feet and this can be really, really helpful um, for that. So yeah, this is the last product on my list. And that is everything that I had to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some interesting products that you didn't know about, especially the more natural products. Um, do check out Wild Deodorants and have a look at the link below in the promo code um, to make the most of this 20% off offer. And a huge thank you to Wild Cosmetics for sponsoring a part of this video and for working with me. I have really enjoyed working with the brand and getting to know their products. And I am now a massive advocate of their products to my family and friends and to all of you out there who follow me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and leave on the comments below any other pregnancy videos that you'd like to see. I don't have very long to go, so I need to get cracking and make some more pregnancy updates. I have filmed a few but just haven't found the time to edit them yet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye!